We're going to get into a period of some wet weather uh, just as we close August and start the new month of, of September. Let me show you what's going on right now. Uh, across North Texas, it cleared out in the afternoon, warmed up into the mid-90s, in fact, after that heavy rain that came across North Texas, especially across Dallas and Collin County and counties off to the northeast. But we again see another disturbance brewing across the panhandle of Texas and over in Oklahoma. That's going to move right over us through the overnight hours. Well, there is a severe weather threat with these thunderstorms, most of it just off to our northwest and up in Oklahoma, damaging winds, even small hail. But uh, future cast, you can see not a whole lot of activity. It shows we see some of it in the middle of the night, really, across north Texas and along the Red River counties. And then as we get across the morning hours, I think there are, well, we'll put in a 10, 20 percent chance of rain for the morning commute tomorrow, but it would be just passing showers. The stronger thunderstorms would be up in Oklahoma at that time. But look at 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. You see another disturbance is heading towards us. This one's going to move in a little faster. I think by the evening hours, we're going to see in our northwest county some strong thunderstorms. And then that's going to spread across north Texas that night, tomorrow night. And for the next several days, we're going to have some really decent rain chances. Tomorrow, however, as it clears out in the afternoon, temperatures are expected to get in the upper 90s, and there's a lot of humidity around, dew points low 70s. So it's another heat advisory. These are where the 100-degree days were today. You can see it was mostly just across our western half, and the same story tomorrow. That 100-degree weather will be just off to the west of the DFW area, but the dew point's so high, that heat advisory out up till 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Look what happens with these precipitation chances. By the time we get to the first day of September, 70%. This is how it looks. As a cold front comes towards us, this is a significant weather pattern change because as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, these are really good rain events and widespread coverage. Could be some strong thunderstorms with this on Tuesday, but the rain chances, well, they continue all the way to Thursday as long as that stationary front's around. That is Tuesday. I mean, really, I say tomorrow, that's Tuesday because it's Monday night, Tuesday, where we run the risk of severe weather, especially across our northern counties. Damaging winds would be the main threat, but we could end up with some tremendous rains out of this by the time we get to Thursday, maybe three inches in some areas. And look what it does to temperatures. You can tell we're starting a new month. As soon as we get into September, we talk cooler temperatures. A lot of these days, highs only in the 80s, and going into Labor Day weekend, Steve, looks pretty good as well. Temperatures kept in check, maybe mid-90s by Sunday.